Hello, this is Janie from Webicator. In this video, I am going to show you the WordPress Grand Flash Photo Gallery plugin, also known as the Grand Fla Gallery Photo Gallery plugin. The plugin was developed by the CodeEasily.com development team, and the tutorial is on the best photo gallery for WordPress website at the URL shown here. Open your WordPress dashboard and select plugins and then select add new at this point you're going to go to the search box and type in grand fla gallery and hit your enter key now we are looking at the grand fla gallery photo gallery plugin you want to first check to make sure it's compatible with your version of WordPress and then come up here and click install now. After the plugin is installed, you want to click activate plugin. When the plugin is activated, you will see it listed here in the list of plugins, Grand Flash Album Gallery. It is also listed on your dashboard. So over to the left on the dashboard, click the FLA Gallery tab and that will open up all of the options in the gallery. Once the gallery options are open, choose Manage Galleries. That will open the Create a New Gallery window. At this window, you want to start up here at the top where it says Add Gallery and Name Your Gallery. I am going to name my new gallery Flower Pots because I have created a folder with pictures of flower pots in it that I'm going to be using for this demonstration today. So you type in the name of your gallery, click Add Gallery. Once it is added, you can see the list down here. Flower pots has been added. To add images to your gallery, you should have a folder open on your desktop that contains the images you wish to add to the gallery. Then come to this screen and choose on the Upload Images tab at the top of the screen. When this window comes open, you need to look at it where it says Upload Images in Choose a Gallery. Click the down arrow and choose the, the gallery that you just named. Once you have that gallery named, you need to go to the folder where you have your images selected. This is my folder where I have images of flower pots selected. These are the images that I've chosen for this particular gallery today. I simply select all the images and drag them here into this select files area. Once I see that they are all there, I click on start upload. Now this is going to take a few minutes to upload into the gallery. When the images have finished uploading, click on the done link down here to open the gallery. This is where you're going to need to add in your alt and title text as well as your description text so that your images are optimized for the search engines. Once you have completed adding in all of your alt and title text and your description text here, then click on Save Changes and go back to your dashboard. On the dashboard, you're going to choose Skins. When you choose the Skins option, this is what opens up. This is where you're going to put the framework around your images. In order to do that, you're going to, you need to choose a skin. WordPress has downloaded a default skin for you. It's already there. It's called Minima. This is the skin that you want to leave there. You never want to delete it, so at least you always have one skin in your file. You can always add new photo skins at, at a later time. For today's lesson, we're going to be using this particular skin, the Minima skin. Once we have added that skin, we simply come on in here and click on it. Then we need to go back up into our dashboard, go to Pages, and in this case you're going to either add a new page to your WordPress file or choose a page that you've already created that you're going to, that's going to contain the gallery. Once you have chosen the page, you want to click on Edit. I have created a separate page for the gallery today. Start by typing in some introductory text that's going to explain to your reader what the gallery is all about. Hit your Enter key and then hit the FLA Gallery button up at the top of the screen to add in the gallery. Once you have that window open, you want to choose the Skin tab. Choose your skin, click on the down arrow 
and choose the minima, which is the skin that is in there. You can also choose the height and the width of your gallery. You can leave it blank for the default. In this case, we're just going to leave the skin size blank so that the width and height comes up at the default size. Click on the Insert tab, and there you see your gallery is there. It is in short code. And if you want to view the gallery, see what it looks like, the first thing you need to do is click either Update or Publish. If this is a new page, you click Publish. Once your page has updated, then click View Page. The gallery page then comes up. You can see the gallery. You can click the arrows at the sides of each of the pictures to move the gallery forward or you can simply allow it to move itself forward. It is set up with a timer and it will move forward itself. So enjoy the gallery. Thanks again to the CodeEasily.com development team and the best photo gallery for WordPress blog. Check out the blog at the URL shown here for more information about this plugin. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.